I just received this package that I believe will make this even better than it already is. But first, I'm about to get naked and then head to the gym. Semi-naked, just partially naked actually. <clears throat> Why not enjoy this beautiful sunny weather in Arizona that we're experiencing? I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have some better lighting in here, let's talk about it. A couple weeks ago, I made a video raving about this. This is the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 camera, and it is amazing. I've been using it since I posted that video, and I still have everything great to say about it. And today, I feel like I'm gonna have one more thing to add to that list of awesomeness because of what's in this box. Remember how in my last video I said, this for it to be magnetic like if this was magnetic on the back i would literally be able to just stick this anywhere and go about my workout well thankfully i have amazing followers of this channel and one in particular named told me that this thing already exists so i hopped on etsy and i bought it the same day that he posted this comment and it is finally here this is the magnetic holder for the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Now, when I go to work out, instead of having to lug around my tripod, I know, first world problems, um, I can just attach this to the camera and pretty much set it on any machine that is metal. So it's supposed to just easily pop on like so. Put this down in there. And it should just pop in and it does. It even allows me to have the battery um, extension on there too. So we are good to go. I am super excited about this. Let me see if the actual, I don't know if the, the case is gonna fit. So we'll see about that. Nope, unfortunately I can't have it on the case. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to pop this off and just slide it back on when I get to the gym, which is obviously not going to be that much of a task. I'm about to head to the gym and we are gonna give this magnetic holder a good old college try. Here we go. So first I didn't really come with a plan today. I think I'm gonna work on an upper body focus because I feel like that will give me the most options to hanging this thing everywhere in the gym. So the first place that I hung this is on the kind of cable pulley machine uh, that she would use for like cable arm curls and other stuff. But I'm gonna do some lat pull downs. <clears throat> it was pretty cool. So the magnet is like super strong. So I don't anticipate this falling off really anywhere I put it. <clears throat> Obviously I can't see behind me, but uh, yeah, this is really cool. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm like maybe 15, 20 feet away and it's still picking up my face. I think it's, it should be still picking up my auto. And from the Nemo app, I can still see that the picture is pretty clear. So this is like super convenient. This is great. I can literally control this from wherever I'm at in the gym. I'm gonna see how far I can go before I lose connection. So I wish it gave me like a, like a distance that I am. And yeah, you can still see me. That's pretty dope. This time I attached the camera to the actual plate on the cable, uh, the cable machine. So hopefully this is not a disaster, but I think it'll work. 
<laughs> I got kind of a, I don't know, top down view. This looks kind of weird. Yeah, you can still see this. I got another interesting angle. So I have it on the plates that are going to be moving up and down with each rep. So we're just going to see how this looks. So face recognition is activated. So now I want to move over here and move this way. Moving, moving, moving. That looks good. That looks pretty cool. So I like getting these like kind of obscure angles. There's no way that I would put a tripod underneath the dumbbell rack and get these cool type of angles. This camera coupled with, you know, some pretty dope and inexpensive accessories like this magnetic holder makes this camera literally the best gym camera you could possibly get that's on the market right now. And I'm super stoked about it. Did I just say stoked? I'm excited about it. <laughs> there we go. It doesn't matter where I go, it's on the gimbal. So it's like tracking my movements up and down. You can't really get much better than that. It's like having a, a person or like my husband when I used to make him come in and record my workouts to get that movement like within the recording. I put it far away so I can do the you know, slow zoom, slow pan in. And I just think this is an amazing product that DJI has made. And I think it's made even better by some of the accessories that are on the market, like this, uh, this magnetic kind of holder. It's like perfect. So I just finished the strength training portion of my workout. I thought I was gonna do arms and shoulders, but it ended up being pretty uh, massively a back workout, which I'm not mad at. I feel like I've kind of been neglecting my back. But anyway, about this camera. I wish that I had something negative to say about the camera, not because I want there to be something negative about the camera, but so that my review or my perspective could seem a little bit more balanced. But like, this camera is like no other camera that I've ever had. Um, I film normally before I got this with a Sony a7 IV. I got the 24 to 70 lens. Um, the, the DJI mic, the first one that came out, recently, earlier this year, and like a bunch of other gadgets that go with it. But like, if I, I could say the biggest pro to having this camera in the gym is not just the camera, but this new accessory that I got. If you've ever filmed or recorded in the gym, you understand how awkward or like self-conscious you can be. Getting out your tripod, having like a full camera, even if your phone, like having it set up on a tripod, it just brings attention to you in a situation that's already, you know, potentially already had you self-conscious. Being in the gym can make anybody self-conscious. Um, but then taking it a step further and having a camera set up where you have your tripod, the camera, your phone, whatever. And it just makes for a really awkward experience. But with this camera and this specific accessory, I'm literally doing cardio and I have this just mounted on the treadmill right next to me. Or I can take it and put it on the metal frame for the handle that's actually on the treadmill that I'm using. Or I could put it on a number of other accessories. Um, and then all the while, I'm still using the app. So I can control it from the camera or I can use it on the app. And all together, this is going to monumentally change the way that I capture content and it's going to make it easier. It's going to make it more accessible, especially because some people, you know, don't like to be near someone that's recording with that big gigantic setup because it's kind of intimidating. But with this, even with people using the machines that are like in the area, I just be like, hey, can I snap this on? And it's like a conversation. So they're like, that's pretty cool. What is that? Yada, yada, yada. So, if you haven't noticed, I'm a huge fan of this camera and I can't wait to see all the updates and accessories that continue to roll out specifically for this camera because I will probably be buying them. <laughs>
So thank you um, to the follower who suggested this accessory. Thank you to the Etsy shop uh, who is selling this. I'll post a link to it. It's unsponsored, obviously. Um, I just think it's a really great product, just like all the other um, links in my video description. It's not because, you know, I just want to make a quick buck or because I'm sponsored or because I'm not sponsored. These are products that I actually use that I feel bring value to myself and can bring value to you too. Okay, let me um, actually do some cardio instead of yapping away to you guys. It's been great. <clears throat> So I just finished my workout. I'm in the car, set and ready to go home. But I wanted to end this video by saying, even though this video is about me reviewing some gear in real time, don't be stopped by the gear that you don't have. For instance, I had creator uh, imposter syndrome or uh, I don't even know what the word you would call it, but I just felt inadequate to begin recording when I, in reality, I had all the gear that I needed, even if it was just my phone at the time. Um, it took me years to start recording and posting videos consistently because for years I thought it was just all about gear. Gear, 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 gear. I didn't have this camera. I didn't have this microphone. I didn't have this lighting. But at the end of the day, if you're enjoying the process and you're creating opportunities for yourself to further along in your journey of creating, all that stuff will eventually come, whether it's through jobs that you may get or opportunities that may come along or even mentors that you come across that like gift you equipment. Um, that's actually happened to me. So I just wanna encourage you to just hit record no matter what your gear uh, status is, no matter if you have the latest and greatest, it's always great to be on the lookout for new gear that you may be able to afford. Um, but if your budget is limited or you just, you just don't have the resources, don't let that deter you because there's plenty of channels on YouTube and other platforms that are recorded with a cell phone. And it might not even be the latest and greatest cell phone. Um, and their quality is not, you know, to, up to par as like a 4K, 8K video, but they're still creating, they're still enjoying the process and people are still watching their content and getting value from it. So. If you take nothing else from this video, um, I just hope that you are encouraged um, to just keep or begin creating and follow your passions. Talk about the stuff that you're passionate about because nine times out of 10, there's somebody out there that's interested in what you have to say. So with that, I say, remember to be fit because why not?